so blue and beautiful and you can really tell that we're in autumn now because of how like crisp the air is we just had our last few rains and i'm really excited to be outside today even if it's just for a little bit um i'm going to the hairdresser i'm finally getting my hair done because this weekend is lerato's album listening party which is i mentioned this in my previous video um but i'm also going to be sharing some of those snippets with all of you but yeah really excited to be doing my hair it's looking i'm just gonna say wild i'm going to make breakfast now i'm going to make my fave my go-to oats her story what's her name what does she do what brings her joy i love getting my hair done i love getting my hair done so much i just become a different person different energy different story like i don't know i feel like i'm gonna just be looking at myself throughout this vlog i'm sorry but i mean how can i not <laughs> but um yeah i just came back from getting my hair done and i want to mention here like what a growth edge youtube is like recording myself in public not easy not easy i'm like what are people gonna think about me oh my word can i do this like am i allowed to do this so many little thoughts go into recording myself in public and it used to be like really intense really hardcore i used to be really afraid but since i started this channel it's become a lot easier to do that and doing it at the hairdresser today i was just like oh i'm a little bit scared um but i did it no one shouted at me it's not a thing so i really just want to extend some appreciation for the journey that i've had on youtube so far and how it's making me less afraid of recording my life like capturing these sweet little moments of my life that i'm totally allowed to like record and capture it's making me less afraid and it's making me it's making me grow in like really cute ways that i didn't i didn't know i needed this until i started i didn't know that so much of my fears around visibility and being seen and being perceived would be processed through starting a youtube channel and ah my heart is just so full of love to the refile from a year ago almost a year ago who chose to just start this channel and just do do the thing um because now i'm like wow like capturing my life for the past year has allowed me to be less afraid of showing up in the world has just allowed me to pull out my camera in really like mundane ordinary circumstances like getting your hair done and everyone looks at you like what are you doing um has allowed me to just do what i want to do in situations like that so i'm really grateful to myself for starting this channel i am grateful for this platform as well this 
just this ability or not this ability but this space that we have to share ourselves share our lives and connect over that as well and i'm also like <laughs> i'm also so grateful to like all of you who are here for this video all of you who have been here since the beginning of this channel and like those of you who have also been here since day one of my presence on social media um the people who have just been like when are you starting the youtube channel we're waiting when is it coming like thank you for like pushing me thank you for sparking my curiosity thank you for all the love that i've been receiving like reading my comments on youtube wow wow there are so few spaces on the internet where you can truly feel the love of people radiating out of them and for me reading my youtube comments like that's where i get to experience that full love that outpouring of appreciation and joy and warmth from other people so thank you so much for being here and it makes me really happy and it creates such a deep sense of warmth and love and giddiness in me and yeah just a deep appreciation for each and every single one of you it is so muggy and cold today and it's like okay this is it we are officially in autumn i've got the autumn jersey out and usually on a day like this i'm indoors like you will you will not catch me outside but the last of my summer garden crops are ready to be harvested so i'll be doing that in a moment and this harvest is really sentimental to me because this year, this gardening year, was the first time I truly applied myself to gardening. Gardening is something I've always enjoyed, but I've always done it like here and there. This year I was like, okay, I'm going all in. I'm going to build a plant box. I'm going to grow my own food. So this is really special because I'm like, wow, I committed myself to something for a whole year and now I'm reaping the rewards all of all of that i'm quite literally like eating the fruits of my labor and the labor of my plants gardening is just so fulfilling for me like viscerally fulfilling i look at my garden i eat the food that i grew and i just feel so accomplished and nourished i think that as humans we have this natural desire to feel accomplished we want to chase things that will make us feel fulfilled and under capitalism we've been taught that the only way to feel those sensations is if we dedicate our entire lives to building a career to getting a job to getting promotions and that kind of fulfillment has just never felt deeply nourishing and sustainable for me and i have found that looking after something contributing to the growth of something else taking something as small as a beetroot seed and planting it in the ground watching it grow week by week until you have this fully formed thing that can nourish you and the people that you love that to me is fulfillment contributing to the growth and the life of something else something as equally alive as you are. Gardening has just been my friend in that regard. It's been a friend that reminds me that when I contribute to life around me, when I contribute to my community, when I contribute to the collective, that is when I will truly feel accomplished. I wanted to do a taste test. These are Chiyoga beetroots, they're really pretty. 
Babe, do you wanna come? Come taste. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, God, for sending us <laughs> these beetroots. <laughs> so excited to be trying these beetroots that God just sent us. That is God, but you don't have to run it. Oh, why does it taste like that? That's better. Okay, beetroot pickle. <laughs> Still proud of them, though. Self-portrait listening party at Mama Gashaka. Exactly. Today's and, friends, and friends and friends <laughs> and friends. So yeah, we're here, we're setting up and it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lots of energy, lots of excitement in the air. Perfect um, weather. Perfect weather. The like, gods have allowed it. Yeah. Autumn has the vibes. Yeah, you wanna get up?